the downside of adding a sport bar to the Toyota Tacoma. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. And that's right, as with a lot of mods, there's always a downside, too. Some things that you might lose, in this case, in adding a sport bar to the Toyota Tacoma. You know, first of all, and this has been coming up a lot recently, and that is, can you add a tonneau cover? Now, let's take a look. You can see the way this thing is set up. The way that it's held on is by screws, in my case, going into the track that runs around the side of the truck and sitting on top of the, the rails, rather, here on the sides. So, it overhangs a bit down here, and we'll get to that in a minute, but there's no way that you can put a tonneau cover mounted inside with this sport bar. You can see the lines on it, the way that it goes. I mean, how would you have it come down? Up against this part here, and then there'd be a gap here. Obviously, you couldn't sit the sport bar on top of it because then you wouldn't be able to open the tonneau cover. Now, I suppose if you were really just looking to cover the bed, yeah, maybe, you know, you could set it on top of the tonneau cover and just never open it. Now, another reason is the brake light, the way it's set up up top. This sport bar comes with a third brake light you can see right there. It's actually wired with a wire that runs down through the bar, comes out down through the bottom of one of the legs right there, and then I've run it behind the track on down to the light back here and then wired it in so that when I hit the brake, that brake light lights up. Now that's all good and fine. I really dig that. But the problem is it's really kind of redundant because you can see right behind there is the existing third brake light. Now, there's a couple things that you could do. You could deactivate the existing third brake light, disconnect it if you will, maybe pull a fuse. I don't know, if you really want to get industrious, get inside there and pull the wire. Um, but you still have the lens that's there, right? I mean, it's still there. I have seen some covers, I think, out on the web that you can completely remove that, you know, the lens, and then go ahead and put some kind of a cover in the space, in the hole. But to me, that would look kind of hokey, not something I'm really wanting to do. So be advised, if you do this sport bar, not only can you not have a tonneau cover, but you're also going to have a redundant third brake light in that they're both going to light up unless you do something extra to deactivate the one on the cab. Next up is the way that the sport bar is actually installed. You know, this is kind of a one size fits many sports bar or sport bar, right? Um, and in, because of that, uh, it has to have some flexibility in the width of it. And you can see right here, mine does not fit flush up against the tracks here on the side, nor the rails on the side of the bed. You can see I have about an inch and a half or so overhang. Now, it's not a big deal for me, but I would say if you're real particular, that might bug you because if you really pay attention to it, you might say it just doesn't fit. It should be flush, at least with the side brackets here that hold it up against the edge of the rails. Not a big deal for me, but it does hang into the bed a little bit. And then even further, I do have the end of the screws that hang out here and there. You can see them there, and then you can see them over here on this side. I don't really care about that. It's why I painted them black, so that they would blend in. But if you haul anything back here, it's possible that they can catch on things. Now, you could alleviate that by either using shorter screws or cutting the screws off once you have it mounted. Not a real big deal for me, but it does also reduce the carrying capacity inside the bed, just by the nth degree, if you will. I mean, obviously, since you're coming into the bed this far, you're reducing the width of what you can put in the bed. Again, that's a picky thing. I don't really care about that. But it is something to be aware of if you're considering putting in this sport bar. Next up is the weight of the sport bar itself. You know, this is a big, beefy unit. 
And that's one thing that I really liked about it. I didn't want tubing that was really small. I thought, you know, this is kind of a tough looking truck, I think. Not mine in particular, the Toyota Tacoma in itself. And I just thought it would be doing it an injustice to put some kind of a bar, roll bar, sport bar, whatever, on here that didn't have pretty good size diameter tubing. But because it has pretty good size diameter tubing, you do add a bit of weight to it. Now, it's nothing horrendous, but let's face it, the Tacoma doesn't have huge hauling capacity anyway. That's why when you get it, if you look inside your door jam, right here, you're going to see one of these stickers that says the carrying capacity has been reduced. And that is because it has. They've either added side steps or other options that reduce the carrying capacity of the truck. And that's what I've done by adding this sport bar. This thing weighs, I'm guessing, somewhere between probably 70 and 90 pounds, something like that, maybe even 100, I'm not sure. It's pretty bulky when you're trying to throw it around, so it's hard to judge the weight. But given that, it does reduce the payload capacity, the hauling capacity of the truck, because you have added extra weight. So it's something to be concerned about, I guess, if you carry around things in your truck that push the limits of the payload capacity of the truck. You are going to be reducing how much you can haul. Not a big deal for me. It's not a work truck. I don't use it to haul heavy stuff, but nonetheless, a concern if you do. Finally, the last thing, and this was a little bit irritating to me, you know, because it is so big and bulky and heavy, it's kind of difficult to ship and not have any issues. Hopefully you don't have any issues as far as denting or, you know, anything more severe than that. But what I had was scrapes on the paint. There were several areas when I got it that were a bit scraped or really just scuffed. I don't think I had anything that was down to the bare metal, but there were scuffs on it nonetheless. Not a big deal because I did manage to find some paint that matched pretty well, but it is an extra step, something that you're gonna have to take care of when you get it, if you're concerned about such things. I was, I didn't want some brand new, you know, unit on my truck that had a bunch of scrapes and stuff in it. You might be able to see maybe a little bit right there. Uh, that could be just dirt. But like I said, I've taken care of most of that with uh, just a matte finish black paint. And it came out really well. I don't think anybody passing by and looking at the truck, unless they have a magnifying glass, are going to be real concerned about that. One other thing I want to mention, it was pushed in, dented a little bit here. Again, if you look real close, you can kind of tell right here compared to the other side, which was not damaged in any way, right here. Not a big deal, but it could have been worse. For instance, it could have been pushed in up here. Now that obviously would be more apparent and something that would probably drive me nuts. So then, if you get something like that that is more severe, you're gonna have to screw around with either sending it back or just accepting it the way it, the way it is. Not a, not a good outcome as far as I'm concerned. So just beware when you're getting something that's this big and bulky, it's probably going to be scratched and there's going to be a little bit more work that you're going to have to do when you put it on. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to go over the downside of adding a sport bar to the Tacoma, particularly the tonneau cover. You cannot put one on with this particular bar. I do believe there are others out there that accommodate a tonneau cover. So if that's what you'd want if you want to add a sport bar and still have or maintain a tonneau cover. Leave a comment, let me know. I'd be curious if you've added one and if you do have a tonneau cover with it. Which one did you get? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra and my quest for the upcoming redesigned Tundra. and a Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.
拜。